today is going to be a little bit of a change of pace. Uh, as you can see behind me, I'm not telling a true crime story today. I'm not doing a filming location. Today, I'm taking it easy and doing some sightseeing. I'm at Stone Mountain in Georgia. I was here not too long ago doing a filming location and I was like, hey, you know, I spent a long time since I've been here. I want to go back and check it out again. I'm standing at the base of it for the intro to this video. But today we're going to be here at Stone Mountain. It's going to be an easy going day. It's going to be a great day. We'll have some fun. Not have to worry about keeping up with details in here to till. That's it. Today we're at Stone Mountain in Georgia. As you would have saw in my intro, today we are at Stone Mountain State Park. Uh, we're going to go back to the actual mountain itself in a few minutes. First, we're headed back into the state park to see what else is back here. We're gonna walk back in here and see the quarry exhibit. Oh, it would be cool if a train was coming overhead right now. That would be cool. Where the stone from Stone Mountain has gone. Alabama. Montgomery City Hall. Andalusia Courthouse, Montgomery. That's cool. Oh, we're gonna come out right here at the bottom of the mountain. Cool. This is an opposite side from where the carving is, but still cool. So this was the, they swiped a whole bunch of granite off of this mountain from right here. There's the mountain there. You can see area. It's a very high definition picture. You can see areas like that up here. There they are. Cutting it and breaking it up. A massive piece of it sitting right here in the middle. Chalk line was drawn across the rock and holes were drilled along it to split the rock into different shapes and sizes. Ah, okay, so it's like those things you see on TikTok and YouTube with their hammer in the, they hammer a few like spikes down into it and that's how they split it. That's cool. Right here. Oh, it says 66,000 pounds, but so they hammered like railroad spikes or something in it. A couple of long ones. And they would just hammer it. And at some point it would just split in a, almost in a, you know, solid line. Here's more marks. That's cool. Here's a picture of them doing it here. See, they got these spikes and they would hammer down in it and that's how they would split it into whatever size pieces they wanted. You can see the line here where they've taken a bunch of the granite from it. So, out in there and everything. That's where they've blasted and dug and cut and that's cool, man. Check out this covered bridge you got to drive across here in Stone Mountain. This is pretty awesome. So 
Oh, look, there's like an old abandoned paddle boat over there. That's cool. This area on the opposite side of the bridge, this is like an island. And there's just a one little parking lot and then there's some trails to walk around. I really think that paddle boat over there is cool. I wonder, I might send my drone over there to check it out a little closer. I don't know how close I can get to it from land. This is actually a location I talked about a little while back. This is a Hawkeye filming location. And I'm back in the same spot now. Because I wanna see if I can get to that paddle boat that I saw from the covered bridge. Not quite sure what that was made for, but I know the water's back this way. And if at the very least, I'll just send my drone up from the water, but now that I'm here where I am. I, I have no clue where I'm at in relation to it. That's a problem. Cause I don't even see the covered bridge right here. I'm thinking the covered bridge is gonna be around this cove right here. In fact, I think I see the corner of it. Which means the paddle boat should be up here around the edge of this coat. We should be pretty close. Oh, wait, I think I see it. I see something. fences up could it be could it be wow here's an open gate there's an open gate wow it looks like it's almost it's completely gutted there's nothing up there. Yeah, there's the covered bridge right there. Oh, it's not, it's actually sitting in the water. It's not even out of the, up on shore. Like I thought it was on shore just chewing, but it's, they built a little home here for it. So cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know what these things are. Even though I'm here close to it, I still think I'm gonna send the drone up and get some aerial shots of this thing.
lot of tapping and a lot of knocking and banging and all different kind of stuff coming out from inside of the boat. Appears to be some kind of dock right here. Anyway, well, that's cool. We got to see the, I was seriously uh, wondering there for a minute if I was gonna find it after seeing it from the covered bridge. noises that this thing makes is crazy. I'm fixing to head right up there to the top of that. Awesome sight that rock mountain. There's a ride coming in right now. We're gonna take it all the way up to the top of Stone Mountain. All the way up there. It's kind of neat that. They have it uh, glassed here, so you can kind of see the motors and everything that's working this. Looks like there's a lot, some more to it underground, because obviously that's, that's just a drive shaft, so the actual motor itself is underneath us. Here we go. She's not gonna go? Her old sky ride. Now that was up in the early 1970s. We're not a commission in 96. That's actually when we opened up this new sky ride. Now that actually has a correlation to do with this car. This is the exact same car that took up the 1996 Olympic Fire Torch to and from the mountain. Construction of the carving started in 1923 by the same man who did Mount Rushmore. Construction lasted 47 years in total, ending in 1970. That's probably the best place in Georgia to put a, a, a tower, an antenna, up here on top of the mountain. Thousand six hundred and eighty three feet above sea level. I'm super curious to know how they got a truck way up here. They might have a uh, maybe there's a cart or something that's big enough for a vehicle to fit on. I don't know. That's wild. Over here on this side. All of Atlanta. They said, I think that's Atlanta and that's Buckhead. Stone Mountain gets a lot of crap because of its Civil War history, its Confederate military history. But all that aside, if you ever get the opportunity to come, you definitely should. This, is, is, it's incredible up here. Look at this. It's 
absolutely incredible. The fact that like trees grow up here on, with all this rock and they survive is actually pretty cool too. Like look at that one long tree right there. I see there's a bunch of kids climbing in it. I'm gonna break it and kill it, but still that one long tree with the view here. That's pretty cool. I understand it might be windy up here on top of the mountain and I apologize if it has messed up my audio, but well, we're gonna head back down the mountain here in a few minutes and it won't be as bad. or if it's uh, cell phone or power, I mean, if it's cell phone or communication, something, something. that's a hell of a spot right on top of the mountain to put it. Oh, there? there ain't even any windows up here. It's just open. I didn't even realize that. These are windows right here. I'm experience a sudden jump forward, so please hang on. And here we go. As we reach this tower right in front of us, we'll also experience a slight tilt and swing. So once again, feel free to hang on to something or someone. <laughs> The big field to your left is Memorial Lawn. That's where we have our dog shows and laser light shows. The building coming right around the corner here was their old chairlift. They used it in the 70s and it was retired in 1996. That building right there, that's their old chairlift. This, uh... If you look at the building to your right, that is our old Skyride building. <coughs> okay. So I asked, and the employee said, no, they have to go at the same time. They're on one wire, and it just constantly goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth the whole time. They have this area blocked off. Oh, they're having a laser show tonight, I think is what it is. Oh, I'm not going to be here for that. So I am not going to buy a ticket to get out here on this grassy area. And I can see the carving from right here. Yeah, this is what I was talking about up on the top up there. It gets a lot of slack for this Confederate carving. And the Confederate carving here is... Uh, it's bigger than Mount Rushmore. But b besides the fact that it is a Confederate carving, just getting up there on top of that mountain is just cool. You know, the trolley going up and the train coming through below us all at the same time, that's cool. Well, that is going to do it for this video today from here at Stone Mountain State Park, Stone Mountain National Park. I forget which one it is. Anyway, I want to thank you all so much for watching. This was a very interesting video. 
if you're new here, go down, hit that subscribe button, then hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. These type videos are few and far between. Most of the time it's true crime or filming locations, those type things. This was a rare video. Thank you all. I will see you again tomorrow. Until then, please, all of you, stay safe and stay healthy. Much love to you all.